everybody, welcome to your Talking Pittsburgh Headlines on this Wednesday, June 7th, 2023. I'm Jeremy Crosby. Hope you're having a great day. Glad you're with us for your TF Headlines. We'll jump right into it. We start with the Madison Metro uh, Transit. They have their routes changing starting this Sunday, J- uh, June 11th. And starting on June 10th, Metro Customer Service Center will be having extended hours to help early morning and late night commuters with the new service beginning on June 11th. For two weeks, representatives will be available from 5.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. And it says we can help plan your trip, find your bus stop, and see live arrival times and answer any questions you may have. You can also call the number 608-266-4466 for more information. Again, new route start on Sunday, June 11th. All right, over to uh, some uh, fun, exciting things happening. Uh, We've got the Learn About E-Bikes event coming up this week. You can learn about e-bikes and see if the bike is a fit for you. Uh, This will be on June 8th at McKee Farms Park. It's going to be a lot of fun. Your chance to you know get all your questions answered about uh what's going on with the e-bike world which is just to me is just blown up in the last several years we just got bike b-cycle here in town so you can have your chance to try out some electrical bikes if you'd like uh, but uh, definitely come out for this 6 30 to 7 30 p.m at the mckee farms park shelter we'll be covering this as well and uh, share that back with you uh, through our programming on this channel speaking of program summer reading program is getting ready to get going here at the Fitchburg Public Library. Join the library June 12th through August 5th for the summer reading program for all ages. Celebrate kindness, friendships, and unity with this year's theme all together now. And of course, if you want to get signed up for the program or learn more, you can go to the Fitchburg Public Library's website through our website, fitchburgwi.gov backslash library, and you can check out the program and get yourself signed up. And remember, this is for all ages and you can earn some pretty cool prizes we previewed that uh, earlier this month with our friends from the library Uh, but either way uh, get yourself signed up it's a lot of fun and hey who doesn't like going to library too during all summer long they have some great programming for you to uh, enjoy it is heat awareness day in wisconsin and we've been uh, dealing with more of air quality issues but heat too we've had some warm days already and uh, today's a good reminder of this uh, first and foremost never ever ever leave anybody in the car children should never be left in a car no matter the t- no matter what time of year uh, vehicular heat stroke has occurred when in an outside temperatures are below 70 degrees sunlight can cause the inside of a car to heat up very quickly and that can lead to death Uh, so no matter uh, what always check the back seat year round hot car deaths occur uh, each month of the year lock parked cars uh, year round deaths have uh, occurred to children entering a parked car and be on the guard even if you're not outside hot car desk can occur when the outside temperatures again are below 70 degrees so good reminder here uh, that try to leave something in your back seat uh, so you have to check your back seat and make sure that nobody is back there and uh, also part of heat awareness week uh, knowing the differences between heat uh, a heat watch and an excessive heat warning good to know as temperatures can rise quickly so if a watch is issued it means uh, it's issued when dangerous heat is possible within the next one to three days reschedule outdoor activities in the coming days make sure children older adults and pets have a place to cool off and if there's an excessive heat warning uh, that is issued that means uh, maximum heat index temperatures are expected to be at 105 or higher and not go below 75 degrees uh, for a heat index in the morning and before or after can also be issued for maximum heat index of between 100 and 104 for four days in a row avoid heavy activity and direct sunlight stay hydrated find a cool indoor location check on children older adults pets uh, to make sure that they are safe good reminders here as we get in the summer and again we've already had some pretty hot times and uh, speaking of hot grilling safety also important as uh, you get into the grilling season one out of five grill fires uh, have have, uh, not been uh, it's They haven't been cleaned. Yeah, and that's what causes the fire. So make sure you check that out. Get them clean so you're ready to have some fun this summer. Have a great day.